trillions could flow through cryptos like Stellar XLM. And you and I, your award-winning Stellar XLM crypto developer, could benefit. But how? Well, it's clear. It's all about the fundamental facts of the matter. And really, we need to understand what is happening in on the blockchain, in on any blockchain at the moment. We know AI really is quite hot right now and we really want to integrate these things, but we want other features. We want other features in on the smart contract level, like finger and face ID, using WebAuthn perhaps to sign smart contracts and having that actually in on the smart contract platform, that being Cat51 from Lee. And this really for me is a great idea and I'd love to see that in on inside on the smart contract platform. But today, let's look at Saraban, the smart contract platform. Let's get set up and get started in the development environment. And if you're interested in doing that, then this video is really for you. We shall talk about other functions, other features in on the Saraban smart contract in another video. But today, let's actually just look at Saraban quickly. Nathan, over to you. Okay, thanks for that, Nathan. So, so let's get started. Let's get set up. So, Saraban smart contracts are small programs written in the Rust programming language. To build and develop contracts, you need only a couple of prerequisites a Rust toolchain, an editor that supports Rust, and Saraban client. So, to install Rust, if you're using your Mac OS, Linux, or any other Unix like OS, the simplest method is to install Rust toolchain. To install Rust up, install rust up with the following command right here so you've got this handy little copy and paste here boom and what you want to do is bam put that in your editor like that so command v away you go you're installing and you want to do that globally all right so you've got access to it so you see i've set up an environment up here saraban so all my Saraban stuff will go in there, which will be easy for me to remember. All right, so if you're using Windows, um, you need an alternative method installing Rust, check out this link here, nice straightforward. This is very easy, very straightforward. So install the target. So I've done all of this already. Install the WASAM320 unknown unknown with the unknown tags. So Rust up. Target, add WASAM. And this is you pre configuring your Saraban, um, your uh, uh, Rust, um, and then we'll be looking at configuring um, the Saraban um, client, right? So use a text editor. I like to use Visual Studio. I would just go with Visual Studio. Uh, everyone seems to use that, it's the easiest, and you need to obviously. Use the Rust Analyzer and the code LLDB um, for step through debugging. And then you're ready to install the Saraband client. The Saraband client can execute Saraband contracts in the same environment. The contract will execute on a network, however, in a local sandbox. So, install the Saraban client using Cargo. Install, oh yeah, that's right. Make sure you've got Cargo on your system. And I think, no, it doesn't say. So make sure you've installed Cargo. Uh, if I remember, I will put a link in the description for installing Cargo. Oh, there you go, look. Cargo is still, well, that's not gonna install Cargo, but um, I'll include the link in the description. So, report issues and share feedback about Saraban. There you go. So I don't even need to include it. The link is there. 
So if you need to, to report anything, something's not quite working or you're not getting what's expected, even if you think you've made a silly mistake, just click that, someone will help you. Run the Saraband command and you should see an output like this below. If you're seeing this, that means you've got Saraband installed on your system, okay? And these are all the optional flags that you can use. These are all the commands that you can couple up with some of these flags, which work really well. Um, and pro tips, you can use Saraband completion to generate shell completion for bash. Um, you should absolutely try it out. Feel like you have superpowers. Yeah, probably. Um, so you don't need to do any of that, but like it said, try it. Config the CLI for testnet. So basically what we're doing here is we are configuring the client again for testnet because it's only testnet at the moment anyway. And once you've done that, so you copy this command here, put that in your bash, boom, and away you're ready to go. So no, the global flag, this creates a file in your home file folders, sorry, config saraband network testnet.toml with the settings you specified. This means that you can use the network test flag in every any Saraban client command to use the network. See? Nice, straightforward and easy, right? Um, so then you want to configure your identity. You can call yourself anything. Um, I just went with the commands that was there and called myself Alice. I like the idea of Alice in Wonderland, right? <laughs> we're uh, we're uh, going down a rabbit hole here. <laughs> Not quite, not literally. But anyway, look, Saraband config identity generate global Alice. Okay, so what that's going to do is generate you an identity and I think bind that with your keys. Yeah, so you then got testnet keys and like the network configs, the global means that you that the identity gets stored in that config file. You can emit the global flag to store the identity in your projects, identity, sorry about identity folders instead. All this did so far as generate public private keys on your global machine. No network require requests were made. The Alice has no funds on the testnet. This means that you cannot make any transactions with Alice yet to get Alice some testnet tokens, you'll need to use the friend bot. So run this command, Carl, boom. And there you go, started and set up. So let's get going on to the next step, which is creating your first smart contract, which will be called Hello World. So we wanna create a new project and move forward from there. Nathan, back over to you. And there you have it. If you'd like to build your first Saraband smart contract, get yourself set up, get yourself an environment, and then go for creating that Hello World smart contract, your first Hello World smart contract, and you'll be able to see that in the next video coming up. I'm Nathan, aka Nathan of Zion. Smash the subscribe button, like and check out the next video. It could be your first step to making huge amounts of money with Sarah Band Smart Contracts. Have a great day. Take care.